Welcome to the second video in this series about animating a metahuman in Maya and then rendering it in Unreal Engine 5. In this video, you'll add facial animation to your character in Maya. Then in the next videos, you'll add lights and cameras and transfer your finished animation to Unreal to then export it as a movie. All right, let's get started with adding facial animation. Step one, start with previous Maya scene. If you're following along with this video series, you'll have a scene in Maya like this. It will be called Erno Anim 2 mocap only. Go to the file menu, go save scene as, and save this as Erno underscore Anim 03 underscore eyeballs. Okay, now we're gonna actually start doing the facial animation and we're gonna add eyeball movement first. Then we're gonna do blinks and then we're gonna do upper facial expressions. So we're gonna add an eyebrow raise and then we're gonna do lower facial expressions. So we're just gonna make the mouth push to the side a bit. All right, let's get started. Step two, turn on look at function. So this is a way that we can make the character always stare at a thing called the eye aim device in the viewport. You'll see what I mean in a second. Okay. So in the bottom right corner of the interface, Make sure auto keyframe toggle is off. In the top window, zoom into the face. From now on, I'll call this viewport the perspective view. Click on the bottom left viewport. When we adjust the facial rig from now on, you'll know to do that in this bottom left viewport. In the facial rig, find the switch just above WM multipliers. This is the look at switch. Click on it, then press W to change to move. Move it into the on position, which is when it slid all the way to the right. The interface will freeze for a few seconds as it makes the change, but that's normal. Okay, you've now turned on the rig's look at function, which means you can see in the perspective view that the eyes are now staring at a red eye aim device that has appeared in the scene. In the perspective view, click on the eye aim device and move it in three dimensions so it's roughly in the same position as MyCam01. Now click into the right bottom viewport, which is your film view. Press spacebar to maximize this viewport. Now go to frame zero and press Alt V. And you'll see that because you've enabled the look at function of the facial rig, the eyes try to stay fixed on the eye aim device throughout the animation. Press Alt V again to stop playing and reset to frame zero. You may notice that the character isn't perfectly looking at the camera. And that means you need to adjust the eye aim device, maybe move it up in the viewport. And then you can return to zero and press Alt V to play through and check it's correct. Okay. Press spacebar again to go back to the three viewport split. Step three, turn off the look at function when the character can't see the eye aim device. I'll explain what this means in a second, but let's go through it. In the perspective view, click anywhere on the face mesh to select it. Click on the View submenu, then choose Look at Selection. Now use the middle mouse scroll to zoom into the face. Hold down the Alt key, and in the Perspective view, click drag left. This will orbit around so you're seeing the left side of the character's body. Now in the Perspective viewport, just click into a blank area to deselect everything. Now scrub slowly through the animation. And between frame 55 and 57, you'll see a quirk that happens with the look at feature of the facial rig. When the head moves so that the eyes can't see the eye aim anymore, the rig gets confused. In this case, it snaps the eyeball suddenly to a different position, even though there's no keyframe set on the eyeball movement at all. It's the eye aim setting that's freaking out and moving the eyes. In this case, it isn't a big deal, but sometimes it even seems to add unwanted blinks and other things. So to avoid this, you need to keyframe that look at switch so it turns off when your character's eyes can no longer see the eye aim device. Go back to frame zero and click on the look at switch in the facial rig, which again is the one just above the text WM multipliers. The look at control will be set at the on position, which is correct. Now go to frame 40, press S on the keyboard to set a keyframe. Go to frame 50 and move the look at switch into the off position. Then press S on the keyboard. If you scrub through, you'll see that the look at function disengages as the character moves his head away from the eye aim device. And then the eyes just stare straight ahead as the character's head moves around. Okay, now we need to re-engage the look at function when the character turns back towards the eye aim device. So go to frame 84 
press S on the keyboard, then go to frame 89, move the look at switch into the on position, which is all the way to the right. Then press S on the keyboard. Scrub through the animation and you'll see that you fixed the issue for that first head turn. But the second head turn still has the problem. So hold down the Alt key and in the perspective view, click drag to the right. This will orbit around so you're seeing the right side of the character's body. Now go to frame 94, which is just before the character loses eye contact with the eye aim device. Click on the look at switch in the facial rig. Press S on the keyboard, then go to frame 103 and move the look at switch into the off position, which is all the way to the left, and then press S on the keyboard. If you scrub through, you'll see that the look at function disengages as the character moves his head away from the eye aim device, and then the eyes just stare straight ahead as the character's head moves around. Okay, now we need to re engage the look at function when the character turns back towards the eye aim device. So go to frame 130, press S on the keyboard, then go to frame 140. Move the look at switch into the on position, which is all the way to the right. Then press S on the keyboard. Scrub through the animation and you'll see that you've fixed the issue for the second head turn. Step four, keyframe eyeball movement when look at disengaged. So now the character's eyes just stare unnaturally when its head is turned around. So we need to keyframe the eyeball movement for those sections when the look at function is disengaged. Hold down the Alt key, and in the perspective view, click drag left. This will orbit around so you're seeing the left side of the character's body. Scrub through between frames 40 and 70. Around frame 40, the character begins staring unnaturally. So that's when we need to have the eyes look to the left. On the facial rig, between the eyes, click this control, which is control C I. Go to frame 46, press S to set a keyframe. Go to frame 84, press S to set a keyframe. Go to frame 94, press S to set a keyframe. Go to frame 140, press S to set a keyframe. Go to frame 65. In the facial rig, move the selected control all the way to the right side of your screen. Press S on the keyboard. Go to frame 104. In the facial rig, move the selected control all the way towards the left side of your screen. Press S on the keyboard. Go to frame 126. In the facial rig, move the selected control all the way towards the left side of your screen. Press S on the keyboard. Okay, if you scrub through, you'll see that the eyes naturally look to the side now as the head turns around. To see it properly on the other side of the face, hold down the Alt key, and in the perspective view, click drag right. This will orbit around so you're seeing the right side of the character's body. Then scrub through to see the eye movement. Return to frame zero. Now go to the file menu and go save scene. So your progress up to now will be saved as Erno Anim 03 eyeballs. Go back to the file menu. Go save scene as, and save this as Erno underscore Anim 04 underscore blinks. Step five, add blinks. In the facial rig, click on this controller, which is the right eye blink controller. Hold down shift, and now click on the left eye blink controller. Now we need to set three keyframes in a row. So go to frame 20, Press S on the keyboard. Go to frame 25. Press S on the keyboard. Go to frame 30. And press S on the keyboard. Now go to frame 25 again. In the facial rig, move the selected controls all the way down. The character will have closed its eyes. Now press S on the keyboard. Scrub through the blink you've just made to see the result. With the facial rig controls still selected, go down to the time slider, hold down shift, and click drag from around frame 15 to around frame 35. A section of the time slider will turn bright red. Now right click on it and choose copy. 
Now on the time slider, go to frame 100 and right click and choose Paste. Now go to frame 150 on the time slider, right click and choose Paste. Now if you scrub through, you'll see that the character blinks three times during the animation. In the bottom left viewport, click on a blank area to deselect everything. Now go to the File menu and go Save Scene. So your progress up to now will be saved as ErnoAnim04 underscore blinks. Go back to the File menu, go Save Scene As, and save this as Erno underscore Anim05 underscore facial expressions. Step 6. Add facial expressions. We're going to add three types of facial expressions to the animation. Eyebrow raise, eye squints, and a mouth squeeze to the side. On the facial rig, above the eyes, on the right side of your screen, click this control, which is Control L Brow Raise Out. Go to frame 18, press S on the keyboard. This will be our keyframe for this control in the inactive position. Go to frame 29. In the facial rig, move the selected control all the way up. Press S on the keyboard. This is a keyframe for this control in the active position. Okay, now we just need to copy and paste those keyframes to later times in the animation. In the time slider, go to frame 29. Right click on it and choose Copy. Go to frame 167. Right click on the time slider and choose Paste. Go to frame 18. Right click on it and choose Copy. Go to frame 224. Right click on the time slider and choose Paste. Now if you scrub through the animation, you'll see that the eyebrow rises and falls. Now let's add squints. On the facial rig, just to the left and below the center eyeball control, click this control, which is Control R, I, Squint Inner. Hold down Shift and click on the same control for the other side of the face. Go to frame 17, press S on the keyboard. This will be our keyframe for this control in the inactive position. Go to frame 50. In the facial rig, move the selected control all the way up. Press S on the keyboard. This is our keyframe for this control in the active position. Okay, now we just need to copy and paste those keyframes to later times in the animation. First, we need to do it with the active keyframes. In the time slider, go to frame 50. Right click on it and choose Copy. Now we're going to paste it three times. Go to frame 83. Right click on the time slider and choose Paste. Go to frame 145, right click on the time slider and choose Paste. Go to frame 167, right click on the time slider and choose Paste. Now we need to copy and paste the inactive keyframes. Go to frame 17, right click on it and choose Copy. Now we're going to paste it twice. Go to frame 115, right click on the time slider and choose Paste. Go to frame 224. Right click on the time slider and choose Paste. Now if you scrub through the animation, you'll see that squinting has been added. The last thing we're going to do for the facial animations is add some mouth movement. On the facial rig, in the middle of the mouth, click this control, which is Control c Mouth. Go to frame 148. Press S on the keyboard. Go to frame 224. Press S on the keyboard. In the facial rig, move the selected control most of the way towards the left side of your screen. Press S on the keyboard. This is our keyframe for this control in the active position. Now go to frame 234, and then move the control back to the center. And press S on the keyboard to set a keyframe. Now if you scrub through the animation, you'll see that we've added subtle mouth movement towards the end. In the bottom left viewport, click on a blank area to deselect everything. So click on the bottom right viewport and click spacebar. Press Alt V to play. Press Alt V to stop the playback. Now press spacebar to return to the three viewport display. Go back to frame zero. And in the top viewport, rotate around and reframe into a tight close-up. Okay, now go to the File menu and go Save Scene. 
So your progress up to now will be saved as ErnoAnim05 underscore facial expressions. Okay, in the next video in this series, you'll finish your animation completely in Maya and even add camera switches so it plays through like an actual film. Then in the next videos, you'll transfer your finished animation to Unreal and export it as a movie. Okay, I hope you're enjoying this video series so far. If so, drop me a comment below and please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.